I guess, uh, Adam, you and I have something in common. I didn't think I'd get to speak before Cal Ch Coach Calhoun either, so. Uh, we but, know how to keep the press here. You know, um, that's, that's true, that's true. Save, save the best for last, that's right. Uh, you know, uh, my experience uh, is uh, identical to that of the speakers. You know, uh, being a state legislator is not only is it a tremendous honor, but it's a tremendous learning experience. There are literally hundreds of issues that we deal with uh, every session, and as legislators, we uh, should in many ways be experts in all of them, but that's virtually impossible. Uh, I received a call one day from a constituent who said, would you please meet with some of us to talk about autism? And I said, that would be great. They invited me into their home in Fairfield, Connecticut, and uh, naively, I showed up expecting to meet with five or six people. Uh, uh, Judy, I think you were there that morning, and there were well over 70 people there. Uh, so my first reaction was, wow, you, you brought all your friends and families to support you. That was pretty smart. They said, no, each of us has a child with autism. And I said, wow, that's, that's a lot of parents from Fairfield County that came to meet with me here in Fairfield. They said, no, we're all from your district. <laughs> and I said, wow, from all four towns. They said, no, actually, we're here from two of your four towns in your district. Uh, so the morning progressed, and I realized, you know, I've asked about five questions. I've been wrong on all five. Um, and, and then just to add insult to my injury, uh, every parent there informed me as we were leaving uh, the names of their neighbors uh, who couldn't make it because they had jobs or school or things to do with their kids who also had autism. Uh, it was one of the more powerful experiences of my life to meet these phenomenal people, to meet all of you. Um, and I know you know that story, but you should know that I share that story uh, wherever I go, whether it's a chamber of commerce or a rotary club when I speak, whether it's meeting with high school students or middle uh, you know, school students. We talk about what we do up here and how your activism, how your voice can impact what we do uh, in state government. And without question, your advocacy uh, your leadership, leadership of great people like Coach Calhoun, leadership of legislators like Judy Friedman who have been working on this for well over a decade, uh, is what got us to the point where we are, which is what has educated all of us. Uh, and I know it's frustrating, I know government is slow, uh, but we did put a pilot program in place and lo and behold, it works. Giving a little bit of help, just a little bit of help to adults with autism helps them be productive, lead productive independent lives. We should do more of that. Uh, we should provide for coverage uh, for health insurance. Uh, I don't think there's any partisanship, any dispute. Uh, the education process you guys have done uh, has been tremendous. Uh, this is a victory for all of you. Uh, I'm happy to be part of it, and thank you again.